What's up, y'all? Welcome to We Shoot Films. Today is sponsored by Dehancer. Dehancer is a great company. They create plugins so we can have a cheat code. Now, I reviewed their plugin for DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro for video editing. This plugin now is specifically for image editing. It's great. We're going to go into Photoshop right now and check them out. Let's do it. All right, so we at the computer right now. Um, I'm at the Dehancer website, dehancer.com. And remember, go on the App Store if you have an iPhone and download the app on the App Store. It is amazing. Anyway, we got photo. Once you download it right here, you get all of this here. I mean, you can read it for yourself. It's amazing. It's for Photoshop and Lightroom, um, Windows and Apple. Once you install it, you're going to go to Filter, Dehancer, Dehance Film. And this is going to pop up. Here goes the plugin. This is the cheat code. Now, again, I would use this plugin for after I finish everything and you're doing the final touches to your look, to your to your image. Up here, you have your color negatives, your motion pictures, you know, your, your color positives. It just it's showing you all of them, black and white. Or you can just go and go to all files and just start clicking away, you know. And saying, oh, I like this one. I like this one. Just This is a cheat code. Because once you finish the look, you're just going to find something that you're vibing with. And then you're going to stop. You know what I mean? If you like something, pick it right there. Hard it. Now it's a favorite. You know what I mean? I got some favorites. I like probably like this one, stuff like this. I like vintage looking stuff. So, you know. You can do a combination. You could pick a little look and then you could refine it over here on the left, on the right here. You have a few modules of control or you can go from scratch and leave the presets alone and just touch it up over here. You might just want a little bloom, a little halation. You might want a little print, a little, you know, profile look. So it's all on you. But anyway, up here you have the source where you mess with the temperatures, cool it down, warm it up, you know, the whole the usual. You got the expand where you can mess with your black point. Now, if you want automatic cheat code for um, vintage look, just raise up the, the shadows. Like, and th the black point will do that. If you go like this, as you see, it just gives it that look. But let me bring it back. You have print here, which gives you the Kodaks, the Cineons, the Fuji films, all of that stuff. And you got, you know, you can mess with all the whites and exposures and tonal contrast and all of that good stuff you have the color head where you can mess around with the blues and yellows and magentas and greens and scions and reds you know they're all nice to have if you need them they're there you know film grain if you're giving it you want to give it a certain look let me see, look at this grain you can make it big you can make it amount a lot i mean you can go crazy you know so that gives you the resolution the shadow the mid-tone of the grain, the highlights of the grain, you really got a lot of control over your grain. Let me stop that one. And we have the halation. Now, halation is something specific for me. I usually, I usually like using halation with lights and stuff. But anyway, I'm going to show you right here. Say mask mode. Hit that and everything you see is what it's affecting in the in the image. All right. So if you put more local diffusion, the more of it is being affected. If you just want that touch, you might just want that affected. Take it out and then you amplify it. You know, that's off and that's on. You see how the halation, it gives it like a red look to it. So I would go down here, lower the impact. So it's not as harsh. And now it's off. Now it's on. See, and it gives it that little glow edge. So that's halation. Again, I would put it a little low, but I'm going to turn it off for now. And then we have Bloom. Bloom I use a lot. I really like using it. Um, if you turn it on, it's going to do what it says it's going to do. It's going to bloom out your highlights. Um, let's bring the impact up. Again, this has a mask mode. So again, this is showing you all that that's what it's affecting. If you go this way, you're, def you're affecting it more closer, more locally. You know, it's more tight. If you bring out the diffusion, it's just gonna spread it out so it's soft. You know, 
I'm gonna amplify it for you. I'm gonna take it off. Now, this is with it. This is without it. This is with it. It see, gives it like a dreamy look. Now again, I will bring this impact down. So it's not so harsh, but it's there. See, without it, with, with it. I could put a little more without it. Oh, I keep hitting the mask mode. Without it, with it. You see how it gives it just that, that dreamy look. And again, it's a fact, it's affecting all these areas right here. I think it would be cool if they had a mode here where you can mask out certain areas. If there have to be something, if I have to say anything, when it comes to the halation and the bloom, the answer, it would be great if we could mask out areas that we don't want affected. Just a little request there. Let me turn this off. And we have your famous vignetting, you know? And that's, you know, it's, it's just gonna add a little darkness around the edges. You know, that's all it's gonna do. And that's the plugin. You know, like I said, it's a cheat code. Once you finish your stuff, you like your look, you know, I'm gonna turn on the bloom, I'm gonna turn that on, then hit okay, and now we have it. We have the look that we need, and it looks great. All right, all right, so let's go with this picture real quick. Um, filter, dehance, dehance fill. And again, if you don't want to mess with any of this stuff, just turn it off up here at the left right here. Turn it that off. Now it's raw. If you don't want to mess with none of this, turn it off. Or you, you can pretty much reset. Make sure you just reset everything. I'm going to reset everything just in case. Okay. Everything's off. Now, for a picture like this, it's pretty much how I like it. So I want to go to maybe some blooming because I want to bloom it out a little bit. All right. And you see, it's just that little touch that I want. You understand? It's just that. That's just, it's simple like this. It's nice like this. But just a little touch, if you see, it lightens up their eyes. And right here, it just gives it this softness. And it's, it's nice. It's almost like... Um, it's almost what we call in video when you're doing video, like compositing, like a wrapping effect, where it's, the background is wrapping it for, with the foreground and making it composite even more, making it blend even more with the picture, you know? So that's all I would do with this, and I'll be fine. But there's just so much you can do, like I said, with the presets. Um, this is a finisher. This is what I would call a plug-in that's going to finish your product, you know, that's going to let you do what you need to do instead of you creating these looks. It already have them ready for you, and it makes it easy. It's $199 right here. It's $199, you know, so it's not a bad price for what it is. If this is what you do for a living, then these are the type of plugins that you're going to want to use. So there you go, the answer, you know what I mean? You can't ask for no more. When you finish touching it up, you got them little last touches, throw some halation, some bloom, and there you go, the answer got you now. I, like I said, this is a great plugin now. It's $199, but if you use my promo code when you check out, just put Reshoot Films, I'm gonna get you 10% off, you know? I do what I can, so again, if you're gonna buy this, make sure to use my promo code, We Shoot Films. So that's what it is. You know, I gave you my thoughts on this plugin. They didn't have no say of what I say, what how I feel about this plugin. I actually do think it's a great plugin. So if you wanna get it, get that code. And um, let me check out your images. You know, any questions, leave them in the comment. Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell on the side so you get notified on time. And like I always say, it is what it is. I'm out.